Oh yeah, me again. This is a part two of the collection vid because I forgot to uh, film a few little um, things. Start with my other amphibian. This is my Fabe Toad. Ooh. Oh, there he is. And he's got a lovely little belly. Let me just show you. Oh, there we are. We'll look at that. Basically, got that all the way through, but choice them for. He's on a um, like a slanting. He's like on a slant of a um, like sand. Part water, part dry, he's got a piece of wood there to get out of it. He's in a tiny little tank, simple setup. Planning to get my little glass tank soon. Um, a few more scorpions, this is my Vietnamese scorpion, which as you can see, even at a young age, is not very nice at all. I don't hold him because he has stung me actually. That scorpion my other vid has actually passed away because I've not made a vid for about a year and that did actually pass away a little while ago. Uh, this is my other one, this is an African black, which I'm nowhere near, near willing to touch. But the camera lens might get a bit of a, <laughs> of a jab in there. But she's pretty, the one I first got her, she was lovely, she used to hold her, but... And I've never changed the cage around, got her in a tub about this size. And um, put her into this bigger one. Moss, hiding places in the water bowl. Most deep subject for her to burrow in, and she just doesn't like it at all, I don't know why. I might get her a bit of a smaller cage if she's used to that, but... Right now, I'll just... Happy about this because I used to hold holder and I'm quite disappointed I can't anymore. And another little one. This is a this is one of my two alpine newts. Oh, this ought to be a trick trying to find one. Oh, there's one. Right, there is one. They are tiny little things. Again, reptile show. There's one under the wood. Also under there. There's two in there. Um, but yeah, the lovely little things. They've got little yellow bellies and little blue throats. And when they get bigger, I'll probably end up breeding them. Uh, some sort of again, cricket box, bit of moss, some cork bark and a little wobble. bowl. And I always doubt it with um, my pressure sprayer, which you'll now see. Quick doubting. And uh, that's to uh, finish off my collection. I forgot to do a little shot of my uh, tank as well. So uh, there's my little reptile corner. Nice and uh, it's got a few tanks up there. But there it is. Or we'll see some garbage down there. Oh, my bean weevils also forgot to film as well. I um, actually started off finding two of these things, and um, since putting them in my box light, they've all hatched. I've got hundreds. This is what I feed to the newts because they can't eat crickets because they're too fast. So, right now, this is what they're on. It's just basically opening it, letting a couple out, and then they're going straight to the newt's tank. And um, they're a lot slower, they kind of sit places, and each jump on them. It's kind of funny, but yes, last month I bought two. Well, I bought, I said, it said buy a small colony, and it came that I only got two in the post. But um, after those two had been died, and I thought I'd give it hope, but I thought I'd leave them in there. And a month later, a couple hundred appeared. It's useful because I don't have to keep buying like baby mealworms and things of that sort for my um, new That's not a good thing because they can't digest them properly. My cricket set up, a bit of bug grub, some water gel, and uh, a couple hundred in there. And uh, again, yeah, thank you for watching, and subscribe, rate, comment down below.